Welcome back guys and today I'm going to tell you about an experiment that we are running on the Draconis Expanse server. We are splitting our population into three different nations and simulating the geopolitical landscape of the Expanse books and shows. In the following weeks and months, players will need to work together to accomplish goals set forward by the admins for the nations to compete over. Players can also choose not to join, but this is not recommended by the admin team. For those of you who are fans of the Expanse, which are many, we have the three critical nations, the United Nations, the Martian Congressional Republic, and the Outer Planets Alliance. And here is your spoiler warning before I talk about some stuff from the Expanse books and shows. Here's a couple seconds to click off this video if you don't want to know some of the Expanse spoilers. In our alternate universe of the Expanse lore, the Outer Planets Alliance formed into a real political system that represents the nation of the Belters. Anderson Dawes and Fred Johnson put aside their differences in our spin-off universe to form a real Outer Planets Alliance government with its capital being Ceres. Each player nation has a homeworld, Mars, Earth, or Ceres. Those homeworlds have special perks to encourage the players of those nations to live near their homeworlds. For example, if you're in the Martian Congressional Republic, you have a huge radar around Mars. So anyone who's not in your nation who enters the area around Mars, you will know that they are there. And you can either hide your assets from them so they cannot take them or raid them, or you can go out and engage and destroy the enemy that is approaching your homeworld. In addition to the radar, you also have friendly NPCs who, as the enemy gets closer to Mars, will level up in difficulty and help you defend your home world. Each player nation also has a headquarters that is in orbit around their home world. We'll start first with the MCR. This is the MCRN Carino Shipyards. While it is a fictional location, we have tried to make it as accurate to the Martian aesthetic as possible, including some spoilers if you look closely at some of the LCDs. Next you have the Outer Planets Alliance Miller Mobile Construction Barge. This one is probably my favorite. It represents the tenaciousness of the Belters and also their ability to reuse things. So this one is not a station, but rather a giant mobile ship. And yes, it is named after Josephus Miller, the Belter hero. And finally, for the United Nations, you have the Bush Naval Shipyards, which are a lore accurate place. Since there is no imagery of them, this is my representation of it. And of course, you have our Queen Avasarala up on the LCDs. We've also expanded the Free Navy NPCs to be a major threat to all the nations. And there may be some new content coming with them as well. We will see. I hope that you will join us in this huge experiment as we simulate the geopolitical landscape of the expanse in Space Engineers. Everything you need to know to join is in the description below. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe.